Peace and harmony, my rosebuds. So can we have a conversation about trauma and how trauma is the reason that a lot of women have womb issues like PCOS, fibroids, endometriosis, PMS. These are all linked from experiencing some type of trauma. So let's talk about it. So what is trauma? Trauma is an emotional response. I want you to remember that. Trauma is an emotional response. Whether it's an emotional response dealing with distress or it's dealing with some type of disturbance to you emotionally. And a lot of times we experience these during what? Childhood. Okay, and sometimes, depending on the trauma, it can be passed down from the mother, and sometimes it can be passed down from the mother's mothers, and um, that's what we call intergenerational womb, or we can call it like um, epigenetics, depending on how, depending on the intensity of it, because. If it's epigenetics, that means that it can alter or modify your DNA and it can um, do that for the eggs that are already inside of us. Because as women, we're born with our eggs already. And trauma can come from anywhere, anything. The slightest thing can cause emotional trauma. And it could be whether it's from abuse, it could be if it's from um you witnessing something that was very traumatic, like you were a child and you were witnessing your family fight each other. Now you just experience trauma because that was so um, detrimental to your emotions, especially as a child. You're not able to really discern or figure out what just happened. You're not able to really fully comprehend what just happened. So to you, that was disturbing and that created emotional trauma. And because you experience these traumas um, or these experiences, you know, um, it can lead to you as an adult or not even just as an adult, but as you become older, you're now going to deal with issues of depression, anxiety. Um, you can actually um, do this thing called manifesting trauma where you have certain flashbacks and, be, and if you're present in any situations, um, that makes you feel a certain way, you can actually create or manifest trauma in the current situation that you're in, even though that situation may not have had anything to do with your past experiences. But because you are, you have dealt with traumatic experiences, you're now manifesting trauma to happen with your current situation. And it's crazy. And because us as women, we hold our emotions and everything in our womb, um, we tend to have fertility issues. We tend to have a um, hormone imbalance. We tend to have uh, chronic pains because we have not dealt with our issues and we let them foster up into a ball of pain and emotions. Um, and we're going to dig into that. And this is why it's so important for women to also talk to the women in their families, not from a place of judgment, but talk to the women in your family to see what their womb history has been like. You know, what have they suffered from? Have they suffered from having numerous miscarriages? Have they suffered from abortions? Have they... Um, experience SA, even DV can be um, emotional, emotional trauma to the womb, you know, what have they experienced in their lifetime? And you can start to see the patterns within you. And you don't even have to necessarily experience the same thing they have, but you will start to see some type of pattern. And it's very important that you start to take note of that and um, use that to help heal yourself because what one do the other has and what one has the other will if that makes sense so yeah this video is actually gonna be pretty longer than I had expected but I really want y'all to get the gist of 
why these things are important when it comes to womb health because oftentimes on social media we like to just talk about the different herbs and the food um, aspects of healing when it comes to womb care when it comes to infertility but it's so much deeper than just what you consume on a daily basis like a lot of womb wounds can happen from surgery they can happen from um you know miscarriages they can happen from uh just not even communicating or acknowledging that you have a womb as a woman it's the plenty of things that can happen even people um getting a divorce or being separated from their loved one their union because you have to think of it as a spiritual thing you know we invite men into our womb space our sacred space intimacy into me you see and um when you create that soul is how with that person when they separate and they gone your your womb has made this attachment to them this bond this tie to them so when that person leaves it creates some form of um emotional trauma to kind of like abandonment issues um that person has gone away they abandoned so now you experience um trauma in the womb and that can manifest into fibroids that can manifest into um chronic PMS symptoms that it seems like you can take all the mitols and the pills that you want but it's not going anywhere um you know that can manifest even to anxiety um uh just depression it can manifest into um lack of as creativity you know because what says women we're we're creative so if these are things that's happening then we have to get to the root cause. Pills cannot fix the root cause. Pills only are suitable for treatment purposes. Okay, so if we're talking about trauma, types of trauma, and um, ways to really heal it when it comes to wound health and wound care, we have to get to the root cause. And the root cause is emotional trauma. When a woman fixes her emotional her emotions, she gets a grip on her emotions and she's able to have emotional intelligence. A lot of women who have emotional intelligence, they don't necessarily deal with womb issues. You know, they might have a little a little spasm every now and then, a little hiccup every now and then, but um and that's because nobody's perfect, but 9 times out of 10 when a woman fully knows her emotions and she's taking care of her body, her her temple as she should, um, you don't really see too many issues in her womb. And this is also why it's important for women to sit and do guided breath work, but setting the intentions on uh, her womb space. So what you'll do is you'll sit and put your fingers right here where your the thumbs where your belly button is and your and make like this triangle and you sit in meditation and you literally set the intention you start breathing and out you inhale exhale you start breathing and you start to create this connection with your womb and you start to do guided meditations with your womb so you can actually acknowledge what is there because if you sit in in silence and meditation you can actually hear your womb telling you exactly what she needs and what is the issues what's the problems but so many of us are so disconnected from that and we frown upon it and sometimes we even get down to the point of thinking it's witchcraft and it's you just literally knowing you and your parts of you and when you the more you know about your womb the more you know about self and what your capabilities are and what your abilities are and you're able to heal yourself in the right ways and not always herbs can fix that i know women who have been on herbs to take certain things and it don't help because there's a deep rooted a much deep rooted cause and it's emotional trauma and we have got to heal those things exactly so if this made sense if you have any questions or whatever please comment below leave a rose if this helped comment your thoughts. Um, I want to know what's happening.